Welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot Aries. Hello, this is going to be a bonus reading for the end of January 2020. Please like and subscribe. Thank you to all the new subscribers, all the views. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Please remember that time is fluid, so when you come across this is probably when you're supposed to. Also, the masculine feminine energies can be vice versa. As well as if I'm, if I'm, whoa, that card came out, I'll just put it back in there. Uh, if I'm talking about a card and it, applying it to you and you feel like it applies to somebody more around you, feel free to vice versa that as well. So masculine, feminine energies can be vice versa. So there's no way this could apply to every single Aries out there. So if it doesn't apply to you, hopefully you know your moon and your Venus sign. I gave want to give everyone a challenge to learn your moon and Venus sign, your moon sign by February 1st. You just got to Google your birth chart. If you need to time you're born, the place you're born, and the day, of course, and then you should be able to get the, your moon chart, and you'll see how that comes up in your reading. So I shuffle the cards before I turn the camera on. I just give them one last shuffle before, after I turn the camera on, before I cut the deck. So I'm using the Mystical Cats Tarot today, the Wisdom Chakra Tarot deck, and then I will pull the Soul's Journey Lesson cards for you, the Fantasy Cats Oracle card for you. But first I'm going to pull the an Angel and Ancestor. I switched it up and I'm doing it in the beginning instead of the end. The end. You see the first card is the overall reading of the all the cards, so let's see, of the reading. So let's see the card we have for you, Angel and Ancestors, Aries, is Father Sky, Trust in the Unknown. This is a pretty powerful card. Father Sky to the Native Americans is the same as God, the Divine, as high as it can get, is what that implies. So I guess I could read it real fast, but that's pretty much what it implies. Trust that your path is unfolding exactly as it needs to. You have a personal relationship with the Great Father. Know that He is lovingly leading you forward. You are the co-creator of your life, and every thought, feeling, intention, and emotion you have is creating the road ahead. With that being said, you don't need to know every single detail of what is going to unfold before you. When this card appears, you are being guided to step back and get out of your own way, because there is a greater power that is not only around you but within you, and Father Sky is creating the best experience imaginable for you. Accepting this will allow miraculous energy to come into your life. Wow, that's nice. Okay, so now I'm going to pull the first card for you, your bonus reading, Aries, 2020, the end of January. The first one we have is Five of Sky. Five of Sky is you defending yourself. Something's going on where you are like, okay, I hear what you're saying, back off. So then you have Ten of Fire. And I shuffle these cards a lot. I really did. Ten of Fire is you removing yourself from lower energies, lower vibrations. Two of Earth is telling me to tell you that you have strength and balance. You have the strength and balance to get through that little whatever you want to call it with those people coming at you. So then you have the Chariot. The Chariot Aries is a risk of starting over. Something you could just decide like, oh, okay, I'm going to change my life. I'm going to do this today and it's going to go in this direction. That's kind of what that means. So then you have the moon card. This could represent a Pisces if you have a Pisces around your Aries. Or this could represent somebody's shadow side coming forward or secrets coming out into the open. Something being exposed. And this is the Empress. This is somebody who takes care of the home, takes care of the animals, the doctor visits the kids. She's just happy taking care of the home stuff. The kids, the animals, 
the appointments. It makes her happy. So this is good karma coming to you, Aries. You see the kitty looking up and the kitty looking down. They're kind of telling you, just hang tight. Good karma is coming to a lot of you. The good karma you have put out in the universe is coming back to you. So then you have Fire King. Fire King is all about ego, Aries. So I feel like... When the good karma comes back, your ego is going to go up to where it probably should be. I feel like you're going to be proud. You're going to feel accomplished. You're going to be like, wow, that's awesome. That's really... And hopefully you'll make the connection where the karma you may have put out finally came back to you. So then you have grace. Grace is where waiting. Like You can't get to where you want to get just yet because it's not time. And everything's in check, you're balanced, you're okay, you're just not moving fast enough for yourself. So look at this, the priest, very nice. So the priest is the divine guiding you. And this is when something changes, like one day, 180 degrees, your life changes within a 24-hour period. But this is destiny, the divine guiding you to get there. The wheel, wow, the wheel is a new cycle. Something ended, so something beautiful and new can come in, Aries. Ace of Earth is abundance. Abundance in love, abundance in money, abundance in a lot of things. Stability, happiness. So Fire Tom. Fire Tom is somebody who's good at a skill. They could be teaching somebody else their skill. Or they're making very good money off their skill. They're increasing their growth in their monies, I feel. So 7 of C is something in front of your face, Aries, that you're in denial about. Something you do not see. And Sky Kitten. Sky Kitten is a couple things. This could be a maturity, something... Uh, it could be a child, something about a child you're not seeing, or it could just be you're acting immature in some way and you don't see that you're acting that way. So two of C, this is love, love offered. Somebody loves you a lot, Aries. Nine of Earth. Nine of Earth is you moving forward and you want to leave something behind, a pattern, a friend, something you don't want to take with you when you move into the future. So then you have the world, which also is major con, a very good card. You see the kitty looking out the window. He's going to turn around and go on about his life, but I feel like the sun up in the right corner there is pretty much telling you that this is destiny, a lot of destiny. You have the chariot, good kitty, one, two, three, the moon, the empress, three, grace, four, the priest, five, the wheel, six. You have like seven major arcana cards, and then the rest are really good. This is a really positive reading. So the world is good. I mean, you have the wheel, you have everything positive. Anything that needs to be exposed, I feel like, is coming out at the end of this month, the end of January, this last week, Aries. Anything that needs to be exposed to you is going to be exposed. For those of you where nothing gets exposed, then you had nothing to get exposed with that moon card. But I mean the priest, the destiny, the wheel, the cycle, the world, two of cups, the moon, I mean just beautiful, seriously. Okay, so now we have justice, chakra wisdom decks. You see the light in both their hands. This is balance. Everything's going to balance out the way it's supposed to, Aries. Six of Swords is you leaving a situation or leaving something with a lower vibration. It could be a pattern from your past. It could be some thought you've carried on since childhood. Just something that's negative you're leaving, you're moving away from. So, Eight of Swords, Aries, this is you almost self-blaming. You see the swords around her, and she's looking in the mirror, and she has the blindfold on. So, you're self-blaming yourself for something, and there's no need to do that. 
Queen of Wands. See, she knows her self-worth. So what is the issue? You're beating yourself up for some self-worth issue or something, Aries. And don't do that. We all do this. You're being too hard on yourself. This is self-worth. You know your self-worth. Do not ever beat yourself up for somebody else not seeing your self-worth. You know it. And if you have to show somebody it, you will. So this is death. This is the end of something so something new can come in. You see the, her standing here on the light right here? I feel like you're moving into a higher spiritual vibration, Aries. And I probably say that a lot, but trust me, there's a lot to just go through. I'm not really sure how it works, but I do feel like it, it's like a school on levels. So three of wands is opportunities, growth, opportunities, happiness, abundance coming your way, Aries. You're trying to make a decision about how to make yourself happy. And seven of wands is gossiping. People are gossiping, talking about you. Knight of Wands. This is somebody coming in with a something to say. This is the throat chakra. So somebody's coming in with something to say. And then Seven of Cups. This is you looking at one cup that is spilled when you have six other cups. You're focusing on something in the past that didn't work out. And there's no reason to is what I feel. You have other cups to look at. So this is the Empress. I don't know if you feel like somebody was an Empress around you in the past, Aries. But this means that, and you had this over here. So this is the two right here. So I feel like in this one, she's, she's passing like some integrity, some lesson learned or something down to somebody else. Or she's how do I say this? She's passing the cup to herself from when she was a child. Like she's learning something and moving beyond it from her childhood that maybe hurt her. Or she's actually teaching a child and she probably doesn't even be aware that a child is watching her or a young person handle something and they're learning from how she's handling it. But feel free to vice versa, masculine and feminine energies, Aries and cross watchers. So this is Six of Cups. This is healing, moving forward from something. Something um, in your past, you're moving forward. Four of Cups. Here again is the Heart Chakra. So you had the Crown Chakra, which is your above your head, like heaven. And then you have the Four of Cups, which is your Heart Chakra. You have your Identity, Eight of Swords. So there's a lot of you going in your own head here, Aries, and really putting yourself all over the place. You, I don't know what is going on if you're trying to make a decision about something because you're all over, seriously. Your head is not thinking about one certain thing. It's thinking about a lot of stuff. So King of Swords is somebody who's going to come in and cut out that which doesn't belong in his life anymore. You're going to purge, they call it. So I feel like you're protected with the light in his hand and the dogs at his feet. That You're protected, Aries. Whatever you feel necessary to purge out of your life now is the time. And this is the chariot. So this is going to lead you to a new beginning, a risk of starting over of something. This is going to move you forward in the direction you want to go. So Six of Wands is victory and success over something. And this is um, intuition. So I feel like you're going to listen to your intuition and you're going to be glad you did. Is what I'm feeling, Aries. And Ace of Coins, this is success with coins, money, victory, Aries. Good for you. Wheel of Fortune. This is very nice too. This is like magical. Your life is like, your job is working good, your relationship is good, you're healthy, the house is in good condition, the pets are in con good condition, the family, everything is just working out really good, almost magical right now. Aries. And the Emperor. This could be a 
boss, it could be a father, a husband, a grandfather, just somebody who is very strict. They run their household and their job really rigid is what usually how it is. And I don't know why that girl is looking at him. If she's getting ready to do something and thinks he's not going to see. So yeah, the emperor is somebody who is set in their ways. They're successful though because they're disciplined. So then you have nine of coins. This is luxury. You're luxury and coins. Good for you, Aries. So Ace of Wands, this is you having to make a decision in its identity chakra. And you see the little sun like a buffer and the wand and her staff right here, so to speak, with the jewel. The light, I feel like you have to make a decision and you're trying to make the decision to best concern everybody, not just yourself. And that is not easy. So the hanged woman is a delay. There's some sort of delay in what you're dealing with right now, Aries. It's not going to go as smooth as you as you want. So I'm going to pull the journey lesson card, the soul's journey lesson cards for you before we run out of time. The first one we have for you, Aries, is fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Beautiful. And then the next one we have for you is discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Purple is healing. Look at that pattern. Very intricate. Very intriguing. So discipline and fear. That says a lot, Aries, that a lot of you are holding back for fear and discipline. Obviously, that is wow. So let me see what it says. The outcome of all choices in life is determined by two emotions, fear and love. Your soul is made of the energy of love, and fear is an unearthly manifestation of a challenge. To embrace and wallow in fear is to go against your very being. Fear in the many guises is the obstacle that your soul uses to test its tenacity to stay on track. For a soul, human life can be very difficult, but acknowledging that your soul's true nature is love will always help you on your path. When fear rears its ugly head, it is reality. It is really an opportunity for you to stare it in the eye and turn that doubt into trust. View it as a teacher. What lesson are you learning from these fearful emotions? The more you use the energy of love to defuse fearful situations, the less often they will present themselves. Very nice. So discipline, I just saw it. Here it is. Your soul has a goal, but it also has chosen to incarnate into a world of distractions. Earth is a dimension of obstacles and challenges, but you have been given discipline at your birthright. It is time to remind yourself what your soul has come back to this planet to learn. This is a great opportunity to reevaluate your priorities and go about your daily tasks with a new system of managing your life, instead of being the passive recipient of whatever comes your way. Distractions can easily get us off work, uh, off the work of our soul, and if we give in to this apathetic impulse. We can miss many well-placed and pre-planned teachings needed for our inherent growth. Learn that the satisfaction of a task completed is more emotionally rewarding than a task delayed. Discipline. Ooh, that's hard. Okay, so now I'm going to pull the Fantasy Cats Oracle. Two of those for you, Aries, for your bonus reading for the end of January 2020. Enchantment number 15. So, this is my Virgo card in the deck, and you see she has the kitty, the lantern she's looking in, the kitty's in there. This is like magical to me. Something is going to happen that's going to be so magical and you're going to question it. And this, the second one we have for you is meeting. Very nice, Aries. Meeting. So pay attention to where you meet people. I feel like some of you are going to meet somebody in a place you wouldn't ordinarily meet somebody. So let me see. Enchantment says... 
True magic is effortless. Allow the beauty of the world to seduce you back to your authentic self. The true self surfaces as you shed the false layers assigned to you. Cultivate the inner light thriving inside you and do not fear sharing your gifts with the world. The answer was in you all along. Make magic and tend to the sacred fire of the soul. Weave enchantment with every gesture. Allow that universe to support and encourage your very move. Shine like a beacon for those who have lost their way. Dream the world into existence the way the world has dreamt you. There is no difference. All things are connected. You are the cat and the cat is you. Okay, and then we have meeting, which I think was nine. Meeting, yep. People, opportunities, and experiences show up when you greet the world. An open mind is an aware mind. Mystery, surprise, and wonder hide inside every moment. Stay open to sacred meetings in your life. Take your time and circle new potentials. Your perceptions will tell you everything you need to know. Trust that you can determine the difference between excitement and danger. Walk away if you need to and feign indifference. It is of no loss to you. You already possess all that you need. Connections are all optional. Cats suffer no fools. So I hope this helps you. This is pretty powerful reading there, Aries. Thank you for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Thank you so much.